My name's Ethan Braid. Today we're going to look at actual results for the 4% inflation adjusted retirement spending rule over the last 24 years. We're going to use the Vanguard Balance Index Fund as our retirement investment and then we're going to see how did the 4% rule fare over the last 24 years for somebody who had used this Vanguard Balance Index Fund as a retirement investment. Before we get into the illustration data, let's quickly talk about what the Vanguard Balance Index Fund is. The Vanguard Balance Index Fund is a moderate allocation mutual fund. It has a very low expense ratio at 0.18%. The fund has a dividend yield over the last 12 months of 1.9%. It's highly diversified with 15,725 holdings in the fund. The fund runs an asset allocation that is about 60% in the stock market and the remainder roughly 40% in bonds and cash. Over 70% of the equity exposure is in large cap and mega cap stocks with the rest being in mid cap and small. You'll see that the fund has a tilt towards large cap growth, 37% here large cap growth. And you'll also notice that almost all of the fund is invested in the United States, the Americas, with a very, very small percent uh, international. The top holdings in the fund are names that everyone will recognize, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, etc. One thing you want to think about as a retiree, however, a lot of these large companies don't pay a dividend, and that is why we saw 1.9% trailing 12-month dividend yield on the fund. The fund's yield is a little on the low side, so something to consider if you're retired and you're looking to use this fund as part of your retirement strategy. Now let's take a look at the 4% rule in action. This illustration is for a million-dollar investment on January 1 of 2000 in the Vanguard Balance Index Fund, taking 4% in the first year, $40,000, and growing that distribution every year by 3% for inflation. We can see that over time, our security in retirement was diminished. However, the fund did provide for our spending over the entire time period of 24 years and one month, and we still have after 24 plus years, $655,000. So we can say that the 4% rule inflation adjusted method did work using this fund. However, one thing you'd wanna ask yourself is would you be comfortable watching your million dollars dwindle over time when you're using the 4% inflation adjusted rule? Here's a close look at the numbers. Million dollar investment, January 1, 2000, 4%, $40,000 comes out in the first year for retirement spending, that's our distribution. And then every year we grow that distribution by 3%. Now take a look at this total reinvest column. This column represents the actual income that the fund earned. This would be dividends from stocks, T-bill interest, money market interest, coupons from bonds, and any capital gains that the mutual fund distributed to shareholders. What becomes apparent right away is that the actual income is less than the distribution. So what that means is that the difference between those numbers is going to be made up by spending either principal or capital gains by selling shares of the fund. Spending more than the portfolio is actually earning in terms of income becomes most problematic in recessionary periods with bear markets like what happened here in 2001 and again in 2008. When you're taking out more than the portfolio is actually earning in terms of income and you have a drop in the markets, it's going to accelerate the losses for your retirement nest egg. If you find yourself in a market environment similar to 2001 or 2008 where you're watching your nest egg drop, the best thing that you can do to the extent possible is back off on your distribution. If you can get by by only spending just the income that the portfolio is earning for a period of time, you're going to be so much better off in the long run. You can always raise your distribution later, but if you can react in a down market to lowering your distribution, that is going to really help you in the long run and also help prevent running out of money throughout the course of your retirement. Here's a look at the final numbers for this illustration over the last 24 plus years. January 2024, we start the year with 732,000. We take our 
4% distribution that's been grown for inflation over the last 24 years. It's now $81,000 plus. And we're now at the end of January, $655,912. Despite not one, but two recessions, a bear market in stocks that lasted for 13 years and the COVID pandemic once in a century event, the 4% spending rule paired with the Vanguard Balanced Index Fund worked over the last 24 years. The thing that you got to ask yourself if you're a retiree is, are you comfortable watching your nest egg be depleted over time? Not everyone is. And if that bothers you or makes you uncomfortable, you might want to consider spending only 3.5% or even 3%. If you want to be ultra conservative, spend only the income, the actual income, the dividends and the bond interest payments, etc., that are being generated off your investments, and then you'll have a lot less to worry about. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gets you thinking about your investments, helps you better analyze what you're doing, and overall improve your family's financial plan.